She's mad at me. I got onto her. So today, um, I'm excited because I get my tripod and I get my charger so I can get back, do my thumbnail. I feel like today is supposed to be like a tutorial type of day. And since I don't have my tripod, I want to wait to get my tripod to do uh, makeup tutorials. So what I'm going to do is do a at home popcorn making tutorial. But first, um, this is also going to be a um a day in my life kind of i'm gonna start when i wake up even though it's like the most basic um beauty guru thing to do but we're gonna start from when i wake up so here is my full day okay so even though i'm faking sleeping um how the dogs act or actually how they really do act when i'm asleep they kind of just lay around me basically waiting for me to wake up kimber will lay by me and just like kind of nudge me or get closer thinking that like her being so close to me will wake me up or something and then Weston as you can see he gets on the side of the bed and he's just sitting there and he's just like staring at me until I wake up and then when I'm ready to wake up I'll get up and I'll pet them like right now and I'll love on them So after I let the dogs out, I'll kind of make the bed up and I'll clean my side of the bed and Josh's side of the bed. And that way when we both, you know, get in bed after a long day of me cleaning and him working, we can get into a comfortable bed and be all nice and comfy. Okay, and then I turn on our two little space heaters. Please excuse the mess of again, I, you know, start of the day I haven't cleaned yet. But um, yeah, turn on these little space heaters just because it gets a little drafty here in the camper. And then while those are going and the dogs are outside, I'll, you know, put the stuff back in the refrigerator and then I'll clean the kitchen, you know, put stuff up that I left from last night and then clean up the new dishes that I have. I clean the dishes every single morning. That way I want to get stuff clean during the day or you know in the morning so throughout the day you know I don't have to worry about cleaning and Josh can kind of do what he wants throughout the day without me being the way of cleaning so yep yeah. and after clean you know I clean what I just cleaned in like the sink I always clean the sink and dry the sink up so I don't leave any water spots and yeah and I spray some Lysol so nobody gets sick and then I sweep the whole house and yeah you wouldn't believe how many times like I have to sweep every single day or else like it gets clogged with a bunch of hair and then if there's any laundry I'll fold the laundry and this week um Josh has a lot of clothes that he had to do I don't go through as many clothes as Josh does because I'm not afraid to wear the same outfit twice at home I'm not trying to impress anybody and I don't sweat or anything being at home so yep those are the perks of staying at home you don't go through clothes as much but of course Josh does so, then a lot of jeans too. Oh boy, where's a whole bunch of jeans? And of course, we got to do the socks and stuff and match them. Okay, and I finished cleaning around 12. So, yeah, now I just kind of like lay around, lounge. What's him? Oh, this is my baby boy. This is my baby boy. Oh, and here comes Kimber. He, oh, he's like, stop. Hey, Kimber girl. You're being such a good boy. Yes, you are. Just my wisdom, man. You know Santa's coming, don't you? Yes, you do. You know Santa's coming. Okay, okay. So, I wanted to open my box with y'all which I need some my scissors there's a little wrapping paper for y'all okay so this one I bet is my charger so I'm gonna open it 
yep this is what I got um, it's my charger for my tablet and I got my smartphone tripod so let's open that and try it out so when you next clip will be the camera on here so okay to start off with it comes in this nice little case so I could carry this case around and it's by Acuvar and it has like a little drawstring type deal so you'll well that's weird how that's oh okay you move the bead down and then this opens as I opened it it has this little thing so it's just like my mini one except my mini one um, this part was very fragile this one seems more sturdy sorry my nails are dirty but this one seems a lot more sturdy than my other one and this part seems like less grabby to where it will break like the other one was like too like this one's just fine like it easily goes up and down the other one was so stiff and I think that's why the bottom broke because up here it was so um, tight and it has instructions and everything we're gonna take this out there's the fuzzy couch and of course this is what the thing looks okay, like show y'all the first leg is like these are the different legs this one has only one out or no this one has the one out this one has two out so it will be two and then this one has the three out so when you put the one out it's pretty much like okay so this is the camera oh <laughs> this is the camera from when it's on the first one um, and everything so with the first pegs out you get this or if I want to you know sit up here you know then you get this angle okay so this is the video this way right here so that way I can lay comfortably and everything except the futon keeps dragging this is another to me it's almost the same except this like I could fit someone right here next to me so if me and Josh did like a husband tag or anything he could be right here and it'd be no problemo so yeah I would do this like if I had like somebody else with me but for this main purpose I wanted to do my videos over this is where I've been wanting to really like set up my camera and as you could see if you were right here I could do better makeup videos stop puffing on me I hate when my dogs start doing that but like I can do I can do this angle and like show y'all like how to do my make or how I do my makeup and stuff be another option having this as background which I thought would be cool not a lot of beauty, beauty gurus actually have a metal background and this is kind of like the toy hauler and stuff so I thought this would be cool to do like hunting story times or stories you know story times in general or makeup I thought it would just be cool like you know if I zoomed in oh, I'm so out of breath I don't know why but you know, do makeup right here and have an actual, I thought this would be cool. And I've done makeup here before. I just don't know why, like, I stopped. But I guess it was bad lighting because I would have to be down to the ground. Now I'm a little, you know, off the floor and in the light area. Like, most light travels through the middle of the room. So, yeah. And this would be another option. Okay, now that I actually have a tripod, and I can move and stuff. I'm actually like really excited to have this tripod. Like super excited. But now it's cutting the top of my head off. I'm in YouTube heaven. I get to film and have space and have my arms and everything. So yeah, I'm excited about this. So we're gonna be making meatloaf. So I have defrosted the meat that shall be a loaf soon. Extraordinary stuff. Like this is the first time I actually like get to film without having <laughs> my phone on you know a container or five or six or seven like I was like pretty much like Dr. Seuss trying to um, stack stuff on top of stuff and we're gonna take about four or five okay. so it's gonna need two eggs I always just put the eggs in there. And then like kind of break them up with my hands. I 
feel like Paula Deen. First, that's a half cup. So we are going to use this, and I look like the hunchback of Notre. These jet or these sweatshirts, I always love, but they always bunch up right behind my back, make my back look even bigger than what it is. Like, whatever. And kind of like pat it in there, so set like that, and then. Shake it first. And then drizzle it on top. Put it on for an hour, but I think I'm gonna do 45 minutes this time because this oven is super small. It's not like a huge conventional oven. And with it being super small, like it gets hot really fast. Like it's done preheating right now. So we're gonna put that in here. And now we wait. So, just gonna sit and watch more TV. So, of course, when I'm watching TV, I cuddle with the dogs. You know, like Kimber, she comes up to me. She just wants some loving. So, I love on her just because, you know, the dogs, you know, imagine you being at work 24 7 and dogs not seeing you and them freaking out. And this is me checking up on the roast or the meatloaf and stuff. So, yeah. But I always love on the dogs while I'm waiting and stuff and you know when I have free time to love on them it's very important to love on your dog so I didn't film this but here is the finished product of that and we got corn and so That's what we do here, you know, in our household to get like a nice little, you know, home cooked meal and everything. Josh wouldn't have that without me. Okay, so now that we're done eating, normally we go and get milkshakes and that's what we're doing right now. Going to get a milkshake. I normally get a vanilla with whipped cream, no cherry, and Josh gets a strawberry with no whipped cream or cherry. So that's how we're going. Good. So. This is Josh's shop. He has to close up. Which, we don't do this every night, but um, I guess he had somebody working late, so he had a close-up for them, because he's the only one with the stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> so, yeah. Now we're going to get some ice cream. Okie dokie. So, I didn't film. My fat butt didn't film eating the milkshake or showing y'all my milkshake or having anything to do with the milkshake, because I ate it just like that. So... It was good. I thought there was a maggot in there, but it turned out to be the ice. You know how like milkshakes, they can have a little ice in them? Yeah, I was chewing on the ice and I thought it was a bug. Now that we have a few more minutes into this video, because I try to get it at 15 and make it as like, woo, as possible and not boring. So we are going to do the popcorn and I'm gonna show you everything. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the pot. And we're gonna put it on the stove and start heating it up. And that way everything starts getting a little bit warm, speeds up the process. Here's some butter sprinkles, salt, and Orville Redenbacher's butter flavored oil. Those will be our toppings, but we are also using the oil so the popcorn doesn't get burnt at the bottom. And we're gonna heat that up a little bit, get our popcorn kernels. It takes three tablespoons for a whole serving. And we're gonna heat that up and we're gonna have our tub next to us just in case it overflows and you're just gonna shake it like a jiffy pop and so you just keep shaking it until it all pops and yeah then you're gonna add our, your toppings and you're gonna shake it the tub so it the, goes through and coats everything evenly then you're gonna add more toppings on top to coat the top I hope was a little bit of a British accent but enjoyed watching a full day with me and watch this, watch this. Come on with me. All right. Thank you for watching.